Hi Ben, so I'm going to show you two different ways to uh, hollow or shell an object in ZBrush. Uh, one way is to subtract any shape from uh, out of another and the second way is how to shell the complete object so that you get a set wall thickness uh, throughout the object. So I'm going to start out by launching just a Dynamesh sphere from the light box. Uh, open that up and just check that your Dynamesh is on and we can see here I've got a bit of a low low poly sphere so I'm just going to press Control D to divide that a couple of times. I'm also just going to switch off my blur and set my resolution a little higher and just imagine that this could be your current object. So if I want to subtract something uh, from this internally, I'm going to use something called Live Boolean. So I'll just append in a random shape. So uh, let's go for a cone. Drop down to my cone uh, subtool. Control D to divide it a couple of times. And again, just imagine that this could be any shape that you want to subtract from your original shape. I'm then going to make sure that this also has Dynamesh switched on. So again, turning off my blur, I'm going to set this a little higher and hit Dynamesh. Just press no. And then what I'm going to do is just scale down my triangle and then I'm going to switch on transparency so I can see whereabouts my triangle or cone is now located. So again, this could be your original piece and then this internal shape could be any shape. It could be a appended in object or it could be another subtool that you've modeled. So just make sure that that's inside. I'm then going to go onto my cone subtool and switch on this uh, icon, which is a subtraction, uh, Boolean subtraction. I'm then going to switch on live Boolean switch off my transparency. I'm going to go up to my original shape and I'm going to do Boolean, make Boolean mesh and click that icon. It will process at the top here. Once it's finished, you just go to append and whatever is your last shape here, it will say you mesh and then whatever the name of your subtool is. If you select that, it will add it to your subtool list. I'm going to go down to my bottom one, switch the visibility off of these two and switch off live Boolean. And then if I view like uh, half of this by holding down control shift and dragging part way across and then switch on uh, double in your display properties as well, we can now see that this sphere has an internal cavity, which is my cone. Yeah, so if I control shift and click off, it will close this back up. And then if I go through a half view, you can see that that cavity runs all the way through. So that's how you perform a subtraction using live Boolean, and that can be a non-uniform shape being deducted from another shape. Okay, so that's the first method. The second thing I wanted to tell, talk to you about is shelling and this is often the process that you use to hollow out an object uh, for 3D printing and it gives a uniform wall thickness across the entire model. So I'm going to delete my cone and my uh, boolean mesh. So now I'm just back to having my, uh, my Dynamesh sphere. Just check that Dynamesh is still on, it is. So to perform a shell, you need to, um, here we go, you need to create an insert subtraction mesh. Um, so you go to append and just append in a, a shape, so for example a cylinder. The thing with shelling is that you'll always create a small hole within your model, which for 3D printing is fine because it's good to have those holes to let out a liquid with resin printing, um, but that's just something to keep in mind. When, you, when you're shelling in ZBrush, you'll always end up with a, a small outlet hole. 
So I'm going to go down to my uh, cylinder and again I'm going to press Ctrl D a couple of times to smooth it out. I'm then going to make sure that it has a Dynamesh activated, so switch off my blur, increase my resolution and press Dynamesh and just press no. Okay. I'm then going to set this to be a uh, subtraction again. Go up to my polysphere. Uh, this needs to be a bit smaller, sorry. Let's just get this cylinder a bit smaller with the scale button. So dragging that inside, inside square, moving it down a little. And let's zoom out a bit and move. And I pretty much just want to get quite a small, uh, small narrow cylinder. You can make this as small as you want. Um, you can make it really discreet because um, this is going to be where your hole is. So you could actually make this really quite tiny so it's not too obvious. Make sure that it intersects with your other shape. So again, switching on transparency, make sure it's not like underneath, make sure it's actually intersecting with the surface. Okay, switch transparency back off. Okay, and again, just make sure you've got that subtraction uh, icon selected. Then you're going to merge your top subtool down. So merge down and press OK. Then you're going to go to the geometry and dynamesh menu, and then you're going to hit the create shell button. Um, your thickness of that shell is set here, and it's not really a real world thickness it's not four mil or four centimeters so you might have to play a little bit around with this thickness to get something that is that is good um i'm gonna make this a little bit thicker but it, it is a bit hard to predict so you might have to go back and forth a little bit you're then gonna hit create shell and it will take a moment or two to process so just give it a second Hopefully it's doing it, is it? Yeah, sorry, I just need to give it a moment to, uh, to process. You can also shell objects in a software called Mesh Mixer. And the good thing about Mesh Mixer, it's a free software, is that you can set your thickness to a specific dimension in millimeters. So if you created your object and you knew that you wanted to have a wall thickness of three mil, in Mesh Mixer, um, with their shelling tool, you can actually tell it to be three millimeters. So if you want to be super accurate um, and you don't mind going into a second software, I would recommend downloading Mesh Mixer. Okay, so now it's performed our shell. We've got a little hole in the bottom of our sphere, but if I zoom out, and uh, frame, let's turn off the perspective. If I hold down control shift and drag across my model and release, I can see now that I have this wall going all the way around. It's kind of hard to see with the, do I still have, let's put double on. You can see now I have a, a wall going all the way around and the thickness of this wall is set by the thickness here. So if I pulled that down, this would be thinner. If I pulled this across, it would be thicker. And obviously this is a sphere, so it's a uniform shape, but if you had a, like a, a sort of abnormally shaped object, that thickness would be even across the um, inside of that entire object. If we press control shift again to show the whole object, we can just see here we've got our little hole, um, which is always generated when you're shelling. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.